should be good. Come on out, everybody who's gonna get baptized. Really, more than anything, we want to. I want to just briefly go over why you're doing this, uh, because this is an incredible statement of faith. But it's also about your identification. I've I've shared before in church that baptism is more about identification than the the aspect of the water, and the idea is that you're being identified with Jesus Christ in His death. Romans uh, chapter six verse three says, do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? And of course, Paul states this as a question like, this is obvious. It's kind of a rhetorical question. That's why we've been identified with Jesus and his death. We are buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. And so... The symbol of going under the water is dying, dying to self, dying to the world, dying to the the uh, the sinful nature, and the symbol of coming up out of the water is raised to life with Christ, raised to walk with Him. And uh, certainly, we know that that over time we will stumble. It's not some magical experience that's happening, but it's a commitment from you to God that you want to be identified with Christ and walk with Him and, and uh, have fellowship with him. And of course, it's also a public statement to all those who are watching in the church that, hey, I'm identified with Christ. It's, it's no longer just me living in the flesh, I'm with Jesus. Now, I know some of you guys have walked for a long time with Christ and are now getting baptized. And of course, we recognize that, your faith. Uh, and I wanna, I wanna also say this to you, that if you have walked with Christ for some time and you've waited to be baptized, I'm so glad you made the decision to get baptized because it really shows that you want to be obedient to him and because of the fact he commanded it that we should be baptized. So we'll dip you under the water and we'll bring you back up. Now, what do I want you thinking about? I don't want you thinking about the waves. I don't want you thinking about the water. I don't want you thinking about me. I want you thinking about what Jesus has done for you, that the promise of of life, freedom from sin, freedom from the old nature, and you come up out of that water, just hallelujah. Praise God, He's done this work for you, and that's why you've been out there in the first place, okay? Lord God, Father, we thank you that that, uh, you've done this great work for us, and Lord, we thank you that you have blessed us in such a rich way with your mercy, your love, your forgiveness, your wonderful grace. And Lord, I pray for each and every one here today. I thank you for them. I thank you for their statement of faith. Lord, I thank you for what you've done in their life, what you've rescued them out of, and Lord, the plans that you have for them in the future. Bless them, Lord. Bless this time, and may we all bring glory to you that you save such sinners as us and reconciled us to yourself. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Do you love the Lord Jesus? Do you know what he did for you? He died for you? Yeah, okay, we're gonna dedicate you to the Lord, okay? We're gonna ask God's blessing on your life. And, but that also comes with your dad committing to raise you in the way of the Lord, okay? Okay, so you, do, you, do you agree to that? Okay, Lord God, Father, I pray for Jasmine, Lord. We ask your blessing on this one. Lord, how dear children are to you, Lord. And you say, let not anyone hinder a child from coming to you. So, Lord, we ask that you bless this little one. Lord, protect her. Put a hedge around her. Lord, may she know you and walk with you. Lord, may you bless the household that she's in as they commit to raising her in a way that is godly and that leads to you. And, Lord, we as a church also commit that we'll bless her, that we'll teach her your word. And we thank you, dear God, for her. And we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.